Gross. Hey, everybody, give it up for Tony Pr- Tony Soprano's son that you never saw on the show because he was in the basement masturbating to anime all the time. <laughs> Christopher, Christopher, come up here. Stop masturbating to tentacle pornos. Meet a nice girl. Why are you drawing Japanese girls with with large breasts? It was but a perfect can... impression. <laughs> Damn, this is great. I'm excited. I never thought I'd roast the guy I buy ammo from in Red Dead Redemption. This is cool. <laughs> I like it. It's cool. Uh, Kevin is an aging radio DJ and a pro wrestling reporter, so his eight-year-old self is psyched, and his family is sad. <laughs> They're so sad. This is what it's come to. Oh, uh, we're, we're going to get in family? All right, we'll do that now. I'll just jump ahead here. Uh, Christopher's father owns a hot dog stand... And uh, Christopher looks like someone who was raised on hot dogs for dinner all the time. (laughs) He would put a hit out of me if I put ketchup on it all the time. It was pizza rolls, but that was pizza rolls. There we go. There we go. When you when you eat pizza bagels, pizza bagels. Anyway, (laughs) shut up, Kevin. (laughs) So around here we call Kevin the Irish car bomb uh, because you know every night he gets on stage and the audience wishes he died in an Irish car bomb. Thank you very much, Olive Gothgarden. I really appreciate that. There we go. There we go. There we go. Marilyn Manson Mussolini over here, fucking talking his shit. Uh, Yeah, he calls me Elder Statesman. You've called me Elder Statesman. You're so old, dude. It's crazy. Yeah, he calls me Elder Statesman because I've been alive longer, and that's a crime somehow. Um, No, it's you're 40 years old, and you're doing this right now. It's crazy. (laughs) You should be at home. All right, so sorry. It got real. We're friends. It's all right. He calls me Elder Statesman. The state of Illinois calls him a registered sex offender. <laughs> Dude, Kevin, whatever you have about me being a pedophile, you look so much creepier than me. It's crazy. <laughs> you look so much creep. You look whatever pedophile I am. You you look like you trained me to be that way. Like you look like. <laughs> Dude. Listen fu- now, young Padawan. Oh, the fucking. <laughs> We will go to the mall, and we will find the, the fucking shut, dude, shut, he fucking sensei of creepy, dude. This guy, I swear to God, Kevin, you look like you, like, comment OMG, so beautiful on Pornstar's Instagram accounts. That's what you, that's your vibe. I share my algorithm one, one time, one time. Uh, Chris worked at a haunted house for three years. Three years he worked on a haunted house. It was his favorite job. It was his favorite job because he could get paid to terrify women. <laughs> he would have done it for free. <laughs> it's a passion Apparently project. he never took off the makeup. <laughs> just, look, just look at him right now. That's awesome. Okay, everybody, seriously, give it up for Kevin, the Irish for Slaves 2, Callum. Give it up for him. Keep it going for him. Kevin's up here. No, Kevin, all I'm saying is the fucking, the only thing more relevant than Irish slavery is your comedy career. <laughs> and maybe Radio Shack. Those are like the top three. Damn. All right. All right, you take that one, dude. That Ra- Radio Shack is a strong brand in this room. People okay. bring in Radio Shack. But... <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry to know. insult. I'm sorry. Uh, doesn't he look like Chris Angel? Looks like the, the, the magician Chris Angel if his biggest trick was making his testosterone disappear? <laughs> Look at him. Look at this fucking beard. Look at this goddamn beard. See this beard? This is a 5G Verizon beard. That right there? That is fucking cricket wireless, all right? Kevin, you look like you grew a beard hair every time you said a slur while drinking Jameson. That's what you look like. Ke- so Kevin Kevin is uh, he's Irish and a drunk. Shocking. What? Ke- Kevin- I didn't know the last part. <laughs> Kevin- <laughs> Kevin's uh, liver is so black and poor, he restricted it from buying property in his neighborhood. (laughs) He did it. I didn't. That was him. Hey, hey. There's a citizen app, and we have to use it, so that's all I'm saying. All right. There we go. All right. All right, let's give it up for Chris here. Uh, Chris is really angry. Uh, Chris real angry that Monster Energy Drink hasn't released its own cologne yet. <laughs> it's called Axe Body Spray. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Yeah, dude, the only way I could describe Kevin is like, he's like the male version of a horse girl. You know, where it's like, it's just like, he should have grown up by now, but he's like doing it, and now he's just old and weird about it. You know what I mean? Like... He's so old. He's old as shit. He uh, he blows up his texts 200% on his phone so he can read it. It's true. He does. And he also blows up every time an officer asks him to step outside of the vehicle. <laughs> I respect authority. I respect final authority. Round, final round. Final round. 
Oh my God, oh my God. Chris, so much I could say, so much I could say. Uh, so much I'm trying to remember that I'm supposed to say. Uh, but honestly... His I'll, memory's I'll... fading in age, it's okay. <laughs> Chris, uh, it doesn't look like you've done heroin. It looks like heroin did you. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so uh, Kevin's brother is a cop, which is a fact that Kevin likes to scream at minorities when they play their music too loud. <laughs> Kevin's also, he's a DJ for AM radio. It's FM, uh, he, he doesn't, No, he doesn't do FM because in Kevin's mind, FM stands for fucking Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the round. Everybody make some noise. Oh, my God. <laughs> The family staying together. <laughs> we'll see. Blake, you want to start us off? Yeah. Uh, again, I think you're both great. That was a really fun one. I like. Uh, I think Chris started out way hotter. Like Chris was winning by a lot. Then you both kind of bombed in the middle, which was really funny for me. <laughs> it definitely was. <laughs> Blake, like, were you rooting for a bomb? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. There, there was one round where you, neither of you got any laughs at all. It was fucking hilarious. I was, lo I was losing it over here. Uh, and then Kevin ramped it up at the end. And again, you're both great, but I think Kevin kind of hit a little hard at the end. I'm going to give it to Kevin. All right, one for Kevin, one for Kevin. Age before beauty. All right, Evelyn, what are your thoughts? Age? Oh, I thought I said AIDS before beauty. Uh <laughs> no, he just looks that way. <laughs> um... Yeah, that was really that was really fun. Oh, yeah, it was also fun seeing you guys having to roast for once. Um, I yeah, I both of you had like great jokes. I would say Kevin, your hot dog joke kind of confused me, but um, <laughs> but you had like I I don't know. I'm not gonna do a replay, but you guys both had really good jokes. I would say that um, Greco, your jokes hit a little harder for me. Um, I really liked the apprentice pedophile one and, so and the liver one it was very good. So I'm going to give it to Chris. All right, one for Chris, one, one. <laughs> Matthew, what are your thoughts? Oh, me? Yeah. Um, yeah, I did like, I just, you hear a lot of pedophile jokes and, uh, and roast battling and they're, they're kind of lazy sometimes. And I was happy that, that Chris called that out because, because Kevin looks like he's here to auction off Chris on the dark web. Uh, <laughs> So I'm glad he called out that discrepancy. Um, good, good battle. Him. Good. Kevin had good energy. Um, Chris, the the liver joke. I mean, I'm, I wrote down a lot of jokes. That liver joke was was quite good. Um, this was good. I, Chris, your delivery was just like really just solid and like laid back. You got a little bit arrogant though because I've never seen a battler literally step in front of his opponent between the crowd. <laughs> Am I? Kevin noticed it because he couldn't see the crowd. Okay. I mean, like, you got, you upstaged him, like, literally. Um, I was good. I'm going to give it to, uh, to Chris. Uh, great battle. All right. Two for Chris, one for Kevin. Emily, what are your thoughts? Oh, why did I? Damn. No, listen, Kev. You chase your dreams, man. It don't matter how old you are out here. <laughs> Seriously, what we is needed that. We needed a southern woman's, a southern woman's healing tone. <laughs> what you sound like you're putting me down, like I'm an old dog. Hey, Kevin, you're trying your best out here. <laughs> yeah, Just think well, about how and good I, I be had 50. wrote down some other shit, but now I can't read what I wrote. <laughs> wow, I'm surprised you can't read. I know. But I, oh, I, now he's funny. Oh, damn. Oh, now uh, he's funny. But I, I could talk, and I'm chasing my dreams, ain't I? All right, I'm about to come out on uh, your local antenna TV with my own talk show called Emily. <laughs> All right. I do have the votes casted, though, and it is a clear uh, Chris. Just because I, I do like the cockiness, and I do feel like coming up, like, yeah, I got this big dog, you know what I'm saying? Check this, watch this. So I enjoyed that 100%. All right, oh, thank this takes the battle. Oh, thank you. Ron Vaughn, what are your thoughts? Um... Pretty good battle. Um, it was all right. I, no, it was pretty good. It was decent. Uh, I think Chris had the uh, hard hitters at the beginning, and then Kevin was trying to tell soliloquies up here and shit. I don't know what that meant. Yeah. Only thing, I'm going to knock Chris on the old shit. Like, well, nigga, what? We all old in this bitch. How old are you, nigga? How old are you, Robot? Nigga, <laughs> old enough to be your pappy. No, <laughs> <laughs> I, 
Well, that's the only thing. No, other than that, other than that, I feel like it was uh, neck and neck. After that, it was uh, Chris hit the hard. Uh, both comebacks was good. Uh, we had a couple other jokes, but I had Chris eking it out at the end. All right, Chris takes the round. Everybody make some noise. 